Word 2013 and 2016 hyperlinks. An example. One benefit of electronic documents is the ability to link to other information. A hyperlink is text that is associated with a web address or URL or a bookmark within a document. Hyperlinks can take us to websites, other documents, or even other places inside the document itself. For example, our text may include a hyperlink to the governor's website. Note that the words governor's website are a link to the website of the governor of Texas, followed by a superscript 1 directing the user to a footnote or endnote. Use meaningful link text. Modern screen readers are able to make a list of all links inside of a document. This helps the user quickly find the link they are looking for. If the link is meaningful, the link is easily found. All too often we see links in a document with the text, click here. If the author writes, click here for all the links, guess what the screen reader will say? That's right, a tiresome refrain of click here, click here, click here. When we link with words like click here or read more, we aren't giving the user any useful information about that link, and it's not accessible. To make the links accessible, use contextual links or links made of meaningful words that describe the hyperlink. Use concise and descriptive text and not the actual hyperlink address or URL. In fact, the word accessibility checker will flag the URLs as unclear text. In our earlier example, it is very clear to the assistive technology user that the link is to the governor's website. The sighted reader gets the same benefit. How to make a hyperlink. To make a hyperlink, follow these five simple steps. First, select the meaningful text that will be used for the link, then click on hyperlink in the productivity tab, or right click the selected text, then select hyperlink. Next, select the appropriate Link to choice on the left side of the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. You can also verify your text selection at the top of the box. Now, add the complete URL in the Address field at the bottom and click OK. Finally, check that your link goes to the proper location. Making an image a hyperlink. If you wish to use an image as a link, follow the same rules as above. The only difference is that it's important to put where the link is taking you in the alt text of the image. When you do that, someone using a screen reader is able to access the link as well. What if the document will be printed? Some documents are used both on the screen and in print. We haven't figured out how to make the clickable links on a piece of paper yet, but there is a very simple solution. Add the long URL as a footnote or endnote as we have done at the end of this module. That way the text is not cluttered with URLs and they are easy to find in printed format. How to add an endnote. Place and click the mouse so it is immediately to the right of the text that you want the footnote or endnote to reference. Go to and click on the References tab in the ribbon. In the Footnotes group, select the Insert EndNote tool. A number will immediately appear where you were. Scroll down to the corresponding number at the end of your document and insert the necessary information. In this case, it would be the full URL. Important note. Never use a URL as a hyperlink in a document. Example. This is a great cookbook for when you want to make yummy soup. HTTP colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash gp slash product and it goes on and on you get the idea imagine if you were reading this document with a screen reader and you came across this link it would be a bunch of nonsense and also very annoying if you were blind or visually impaired and you were using a screen reader you would have no idea where this link was taking you it would take a very long time to read and quickly browsing the hyperlinks would be made impossible. This concludes our module on hyperlinks. Now here's the end note we promised. <laughs>